It's a new week in Ghost of Tsushima Legends, which brings a new set of challenges. If you didn't know, the challenges, which include Chapter 1, 2, and 3 of the Raid, a Nightmare Story mission, a Nightmare Survival mission, Nightmare Rivals, and the Trials of EO, which we'll be going over in this video. If you didn't know, the Trials of EO are just different parts of the Raid, which this week is chapter 2 with the mission Fortress Gates. So this video will be doubling as how to do this part of the raid, as well as how to do it as fast as possible for Trials of EO, and possibly get on the leaderboard. To summarize the goal of this mission, what you're gonna have to do is find these totems, break them to open up gates, and get to the end. If you look on the gate, the symbol will always match the totem that you have to destroy, There'll be more symbols as you progress, so we'll go over it later on in the video. In this case, we see the sun icon on the gate and the sun icon on the totem which match, and also note the color which is orange. So with that goal in mind, how do we destroy this totem? So what you have to do is find this thing called an attunement. In this case, it's on the left hand side over here, which will imbue your sword in this element, which will then give you ability to take out the totem. Now, as you can see in the video, it takes a while to acquire the attunement. So as you can see, this is where the challenge comes into play. You really have to be multitasking, taking out enemies or at least avoiding them while also getting the attunement, destroying the totem, and opening the gate. Another problem is that you can't stay still for a while. As noted by the red circle and the arrows, fire spirits will be raining down arrows every once in a while, so timing is very important, especially while grabbing the attunement and destroying the totem. Now one major tip is to bring smoke bombs. Not only do smoke bombs hide you from the enemies, but they also hide you from the fire spirits. So as you're sabotaging the totem, which takes significantly longer than getting the attunement, dropping a smoke bomb will help immensely to finish destroying the totem. Because if an enemy hits you while you're destroying the totem, you're gonna stagger and your progress will reset. Besides smoke bombs, another way around this is by having the perk on your charm called super armor. This makes it so that if an enemy hits you while you're destroying a totem, you'll take damage but your progress will still continue. Once you destroy that totem, the gate will open and will open up the second area, which looks like this. Quickly looking at the layout, the gate is to the left. And if you look up to the right over here, you'll see a green totem and a green attunement. But how do you get on top to get the attunement? This is where the co-op and teammate coordination comes into play. What one team has to do is go to this platform right over here. Once someone stands on it, these grappling points will spawn for another teammate to swing across and get to the top where the attunement is. Again, staying hidden and using your smoke bomb so you don't get hit by enemies so someone could stay on the platform while someone's swinging across is very important. So what you can do is have one teammate go to the right where the platform is and the other to the left where once you go up the stairs, across this rock, your other teammate will be ready to go to grapple across. Now a huge tip and a time saver, is to use the assassin. Not only can the assassin go invisible, so he has an extra tool to stand on the platforms and destroy the totems, but if you build your ult super quick, instead of having to coordinate with a teammate with the platforms, using the assassin's ultimate, you could actually just teleport straight to the top. From there, you could just take out the enemy, acquire the attunement, and drop straight down to destroy the totem. With that, that's the second area cleared and on to the third and final area. Once you go up the stairs, this is what the area looks like. If we look at the gate at the far right, we see there are three symbols, meaning there are three totems to destroy. We see the orange totem right by the gate on the left with the attunement to destroy it on the far left. We have the blue totem right next to it and the blue attunement on the very top to the right with the green attunement and the green totem to the right as well. Now the co-op way to do this is to step on the two platforms right over here and over here, which again will spawn some grapple points, but we're going to skip that and go straight on to the tips and tricks on how to do this even faster. So what you want to do is get to the green attunement first. If you go to this part of the map, hug the left side against the wall and jump, you can actually reach this red branch looking thing, jump across and get the green attunement. And there, jump all the way back and go all the way up this rock face. Jump down to where the totem is and destroy it. This is also where the fire spirit is located, so to make things just a little easier, take that out real quick. Next, to get the blue and the orange attunement, jump on the red branch, 
climb all the way to the top where you can get the blue attunement right over here. Now this next part is super hard and I could not get it for the life of me. So I'm just going to show a clip of the absolute go Joey Dominguez, the solo master. So what Joey does is jump all the way down to the bottom where the gate is, run up to this wall face right over here. And again, you can just jump and climb up the wall. From here, things are pretty straightforward. Destroy the blue totem. Once you're done, right next to it is the orange sun attunement. Pick that up and go straight to the gate right where the totem is and that's a ggs and as you can see this whole thing is soloable won't be getting the fastest time if you do it solo but it's a pretty fun challenge if you like doing things yourself with that i hope you guys found this video helpful if you do please drop a like and hit that subscribe button for more ghost of Tsushima content as always thank you guys for watching hope to catch you in the next one and ggs